Hey guys, it's me, Chef Mick. Alright, today's mini episode of Cooking for the Boys Live. Well, I'm going to show you how to make pico de gallo. Now, literally translated, that's like the beak of a, of a, of a rooster, okay? I don't know why. But pico de gallo is actually not a salsa, which would be very creamy and wet, but it's a relish. It is chopped, it's finely chopped vegetables to make a garnish with, okay? You use it, or a lot of people use it when they have, you know, nachos, when they have uh, Tex-Mex Mexican food. And it's really a, more of a garnish, but you can dip, it, dip the chips in it and everything and you'll be fine. Okay, pico de gallo. Here we go. Here's my workstation. First thing we have, onion. This is a yellow onion. It's already cut. I'm not going to make that much of it. But it's a yellow onion, and it's already there for you. And I need a small bowl. All right. Small bowl. See my small bowl? Okay. So let's dice the onion, okay? Very simple. Dice. Those parts didn't want to stay with me, but that's cool. All right. Now let's make sure it's let's make sure it's small enough. And guys, that's all we need. Look at that. A little bit of onion. Okay? Second part of this is jalapeno. If you're not used to dealing with jalapeno, wear gloves or make sure you wash your hands really well afterwards, okay? We're gonna cut off the top of the jalapeno. Then we're gonna move the jalapeno over. Let's cut it in half. I'm going to show you something, guys. Inside, you have all of this with the seeds, okay? Just cut a little bit right here, cut around it. Let's remove it, okay? Remove it. Now, if you want to keep the seeds in, it'll be nice and spicy and hot. The seeds will make it hotter, but it doesn't look as pretty, okay? So let's get the seeds out of here. It's going to be hot enough as it is. You don't need to worry about it, okay? Drop the seeds. All right, so now we have a half, very little. We can, we can clean out those seeds. Don't worry about it. We can clean those out. Okay. Cut, 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 cut. Turn it sideways. Dice, dice, dice. Dice, 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 dice. Dice, 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 dice. Dice, dice. Perfect. Okay. Dice jalapeno. That's only half of it. We'll do the other half. Cut, 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 cut. Turn them sideways. Dice, 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 dice. Dice, 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 dice. Dice, dice, dice. Dice jalapeno. There you go. What do we have in there? Onion jalapeno. So what's an F? The tomato. Well, be careful with the tomato, guys. Here's a here's aroma tomato. Okay, you can see that the the top part here. Let's cut in half right through that top part, like that. Now, because we don't want to make a salsa out of this, we want to get rid of all this on the inside, okay? If we're making a salsa, we would keep it, but we're not going to. We don't want, we don't want it to be wet, we want it to be dry. So you see how that part came out of it? We got rid of that part, okay? Which gives us only, only the tomato itself, no seeds, no pulp on the inside. It's easier to cut the tomato in strips, but not like this. It's more difficult to cut through this skin, just like it is on a uh, bell pepper. So you should have it turned upside down where it's easier to cut through. And then, very simple, dice, 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 dice. All right, now, you can add as much as you want. You can do whatever you want. So here we go. Check this out. You can see it. Tomatoes, onions, jalapenos. What else do we put in there, guys? Simple. A little bit of salt. And, and, and the best part. Here we go. A little bit of lime juice, guys. Just a little bit. We're not trying to make this wet. We're just trying to give it some flavor. There you go. Very simple. Very easy. Pico de gallo right there. If we wanted to make a salsa out of it, we would put this into a blender 
or a uh, food processor with all tomato parts make it nice and, and wet and uh, creamy so there you go pico de gallo all right guys very simple very easy it is not a salsa it is a relish relish <laughs> i'm chef mick this is cooking for the boys life if you know how to cook you can marry for looks yes you can i'll see you guys tomorrow live show tomorrow i'll see you then bye